Tonight, Missouri State Auditor says his office is looking into St. Louis Public Schools and an official audit will begin next week. It comes as the district nears the first day of school and faces a wave of concerns over key leadership decisions. Thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Bush. And I'm Ann Allred. The announcement just happened a few hours ago. The state auditor said he already had his eye on the district. We have two reports tonight, but let's begin with Justina Cornell. She's in the newsroom with more about the audit. Justina. The state auditor told a room of reporters that he was already planning to audit the district as part of his plan to regularly review schools. And St. Louis Public Schools was already on the agenda for later this year. However, with recent concerns, the process was sped up. I'm here today to officially announce our plan to audit the St. Louis Public School District. State Auditor Scott Fitzpatrick admits they've had concerns about St. Louis Public Schools. One of the big concerns we have is uh, the proficiency of the students in the district. And it's also one of the largest school districts in the state. You know, tremendous budget, lots of state taxpayer money in addition to the local taxpayer money going to the district. After recent requests, the audit will begin next week rather than later this year. One of the voices vocalizing concerns, State Representative Donna Beringer. Why didn't the money go into fixing these schools for the health of the children? Why didn't the money go in to raise the pay of the teachers? Why didn't the money go into transportation? Fitzpatrick said their survey work will guide them to their main goal, but amidst a focus is on procurement and the budget. But now that we know that there are are at least serious allegations that seem very credible of issues in those areas, we'll definitely make sure that's a top priority of the audit. Allegations are aimed at money and hiring practices. St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones claims the district's operating budget went from $17 million in surplus to a $35 million projected deficit. These are items we're going to look at to determine if these decisions were made in compliance with state law as well as district policies. While the auditor's office will dig in next week, results could come in a year. Because there's field work, there's, you know, we have to request information, wait for it to be delivered to us. We have to give the district a reasonable amount of time to respond to our inquiries. We have to evaluate all the inf information. The goal of the audit is to get to the bottom of the story and provide the facts. The district responded saying it will cooperate and welcomes the decision to conduct an operational audit and financial audit. Now, if you want to share confidential information during this review, you can call the state auditor's whistleblower hotline at 800-347-8597. Now to the other big issues plaguing the St. Louis Public School District. Less than two weeks before students head back to school, parents are growing more and more concerned about the district's new transportation plan. Our Megan Kernan joins us live from SLPS headquarters with reaction from some of these worried parents, Megan. And transportation is going to look a lot different for SLPS families this year. Now the school district is offering solutions in the wake of Missouri Central canceling its bus contract. The biggest concern for parents has been how the district plans to get more than 15,000 students to school this year. While more than 5,300 students will take the traditional bus routes, nearly 1,700 high school students will get Metro passes and almost 3,800 students will get to school School by either shuttle buses, taxis, cabs, or through a rideshare program. We checked in with two parents who have concerns. I got a phone call um, telling me about my children uh, receiving vans that will be picking them up from, from in front of our house. And then they gave me drop off, I mean, pick up time and drop off time. And that was it. Our daughter will be picked up via a cab. Um, it's part of Smart Taxi. I would hope that the Taxi drivers have gone through the same rigorous background checks that uh, a school bus driver would need to, to go through. Now, both parents are happy that their children have a way to get to school, but worry for the parents with kids who now have to take the Metro link. They're hoping that this solution will actually work in the long run. The first day of school for SLPS is August 19th. Reporting live in downtown St. Louis, Megan Kernan, five on your side.